Hey, Snickers back. Real quick one for you. <clears throat> so you've got your Linux machine all set up. It's all hunky-dory and it's running fine. But you're all a bit worried how hot it's going to get. And how the CPU and that's going to perform. Okay. But in Linux, we do have things for this. And one of these is called B-Sensor. It's a GTK app. And it monitors all your hardware, including your hard disk, actually. So if you've got a, a big CPU, like myself, don't take a notice of this uh, Ubuntu thing here. It's all been updated for today, but I just got this page up to show you to what it looks like, basically. So, temperature of the motherboard and the CPU using all the LM sensors, your NVIDIA GPUs, so my NVIDIA cards, your hard disk, your fans. That not work so good because I've got a water cooled system here. And the sensors. Okay, so we'll get rid of that, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. So, we'll just open up the P sensor here. And I've had it running for a little while. As you can see, I'll do it full screen for you so you can see what we're doing. As you can see, I'm recording at the same time, and it's not really doing nothing to my CPU. The whole CPU is only running at 37, 36, which is nothing really. It got up to 51 earlier when I was playing a very, very intensive game of Rocket League. Okay, That's as far as it goes for me personally. And for my GTX graphics card, as you can see, it's at 17% now. How much graphics is using. The maximum it's ever used today is 74%. And there's my temperatures. Now, bearing in mind your graphics card will get hotter, okay, than your CPU. It'll go quite a bit hotter, really. But mine never tends to, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven fans on this machine, so I'll be a bit upset if it did. I've got an old mechanical drive running Linux Lite at the moment, as you can see, but it's just keeping it all hunkily of the doorway, basically. But it also tells you other stuff here if you want to know, okay, which is super fine. So if you want to keep an eye on stuff or just check it, Say every couple of days to see how things go. Maybe you might have to reseat your GPU stuff, and maybe you might have to reseat your CPU. Might be a good idea with some decent silver conductive paste. Okay. Remember, if you're building a new system, after about 12 months, it's a really good idea to redo it again. It really, really is. For a simple reason, it just when you first do it brand new, it just has to bed in a bit. So just take it off, do it again, and you will see them temperatures come down quite a bit. Now I've got to do mine again. Now it's about that time. But I've got some Arctic Silver I'm using at the moment. It's worked fine for me on this uh, card I've got here, so no big deal. Some of you might be saying, well, what about your uh, GTX 970 GPU? Yes, you can take the fans off and the heat sinks and reseat everything with some nice, nice compound. It's really easy to do. Go and give it a go. But I thought you might want to see that. Nice little sneaky quickie for you. Keeping an eye on your temperatures of your system. Because it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. Sneaking us out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.